Okay, this is for section 8.1, Introduction to Functions. We've got some important definitions that you need to know. The domain of a relation is the set of first coordinates of the ordered pairs in the relation. So if you have an ordered pair, remember it's normally x comma y, so they're referring to the x values. There are some x values that are not legal values for substitution and are therefore excluded from the domain, but we'll talk about that more a little bit later. The range of a relation is the set of second coordinates of the ordered pairs in the relation, or the y values. We will be dealing mainly with functions, and a function is a special relation in which no two different ordered pairs, two different points, have the same first coordinate. In the following problems, we're going to determine whether each relation is a function and then give the domain and range for each. So in this one, if I look at my three ordered pairs, notice they are different. The x values are different, so this is a function. The uh, domain are, is a list of my x values with no duplicates. So it would be 4, 6, and 8. My range should be 5, 7, and 8. So there's my domain and range. In this one, the first two ordered pairs goes against the definition of a function. I've got two different ordered pairs. They have the same x values. So this one is not a function. My domain, remember there's no duplicates. My domain would be 5 and 6. My range looks like would be 6 and 7. So that's it for that problem. Functional notation f of x, this is not multiplication, it's f of x, is a shorthand notation indicating what you need to put in for x and at the same time what equation you have to use to get the y value or the output. Always remember that y equals f of x. So f is sort of like a functional name. I've got f of x here, I've got g of x here. The x will be given, so I need to look at some of these problems. We're going to try some in our heads, some with the calculator that I've got on the side by storing. So let's go for it. In this one, they want me to go to the g function. When I, they get, when I get there, they want me to put in 0. So if I put 0 in, always substitute with parentheses. So 0 squared would be 0. My answer here should be 2. Negative 2. I need to go to f to substitute this in for the x's in these two locations. So let me store that in my calculator. I will type my function. And let's see got negative 21 there. Let's see if that's what I've got right here. Yes, it is. Negative 4. I've got to go to G. So here's G. Substitute negative 4 in parentheses. So if I do with parentheses, that would give me a positive 16. I have to do the multiplication first. So 2 minus 16, I should have negative 14 g of 3, let's see, put in parentheses 3 squared, so that would be 2 minus 9, so I should have a negative 7. Negative 5, they want me to go back to f, it's a little bit longer, so let me store that value in for x. I'm going to repeat by doing second enter, second enter to get my original function back. Press enter. I should have a negative 96 right here. If you do it via calculator,